So shut up, bitch. Oh my God. This guy is so afraid of going outside that he needs all of this behind him. And he's also talking shit about The Rock. Interesting. So I was scrolling through Instagram while I was doing some work. <laughs> the irony. And I mean, doing work. He was sitting on one of these guns with the barrel up is what he's saying. I came across this post on Instagram. Dwayne Johnson's movies will no longer use real guns on set. And it goes on to say... I can speak for any I can't speak for anyone else, but I can tell you without an absence of clarity here that any movie that we have moving forward with seven bucks productions, any movie, any television show, or anything we do or produce, we won't use real guns at all. All right, let's just get this out of the way. I, I like The Rock. I do. Um I like I like a lot of his movies. They're entertaining. Um not gonna win any awards for best movie of all times in my books, but he does a good job at being what he is and what he does. And he's a grown man. He can do what he wants. It's his production company. If he wants to get rid of real guns on his production company, on his on his movie sets, by all means, do oh you. Oh, my God. He even has this hat on. Like, this is what I'm talking about when I say a fetishist and not like a gun owner. This is a fetishist. They can't live without these things, and it's very bad. These are the kind of people that, like, fucking blow up their house because they just have so much powder inside of it. Boo-boo. Um... But I have to call BS on this. Um, if, if even to the slightest degree he thinks he's doing this or for some reason trying to make it seem like he's doing this because of a safety issue or concern, BS. You've been using... No, it is a safety issue. It's been proven time and time again. This isn't the only time it's happened. These accidents are actually fairly frequent, all things considered. It's just that this was like a big actor in a big shoot that it happened to. You know, an industrial accident has happened. You know what happens when an accident happens on a job site? You reevaluate your safety protocols. If a massive chemical spill happens, you reevaluate what happened with that chemical container up to the point and even during when it was spilling. You don't just shrug and say, well, it was a once in a lifetime thing. We don't need to worry about it and just keep going on as usual. No, you stop. You evaluate what happened. And then you say, okay, are we capable of moving this container without it spilling? Yes, no. Is it within um, recommended safety parameters that we can do it? Yes, no. If not, you no longer carry that chemical, or you find a new way to carry that chemical more safely. Um, there was a time when we used to use um, asbestos for a lot of shit, right? I don't mean like in houses for like fire. No, they used to wear gloves and like full uniforms made of asbestos because it was fire retardant. It was like a heat shield kind of thing. Well, that was deemed dangerous. So what the industry do? They stopped using it and started using better materials. They changed the way they handled equipment and uh, material. This, like, this is standard shit, which he doesn't know because he doesn't work. Using real guns in your movies for ages. And now all of a sudden, because Alec Baldwin uh, uh, shoots one of the uh, producers on the actual movie set, all of a sudden it's an issue? It's perfectly fine to store ammunition inside of your sponson on your tank right up until a shell hits it during battle and you see your tank blown in half. And then, of course, you install wet wax inside the tank, making it safer, right? Um, American aircraft during World War II, they had self-sealing fuel tanks because it was shown that when bullets went into a fuel tank, they caught fire. This is no different. Yeah, everything's fine until it's not. And when it's not fine, you figure out why it's not fine, and you fix it. This is how progress works. Like, come on, man. This is this is grandstanding and virtue signaling of the highest order. And I just he says it's virtue signaling. Why he sits in front of this shelf, wears this hat, wears this shirt, um, is using this kind of tag. I'm just I'm just saying it, it's kind of hypocritical for him to call this virtue signaling when he's doing that and everything he's doing on this screen. I have to call you out on it because it doesn't make any sense. Three, three. That's how many gun fatalities that that there have been. No, that's how many have been well known. There are more than that on movie sets entirely not like in the most recent years or in the recent decades ever three three fatalities and one of those it could arguably someone could make the case that it was probably maybe could have sort of been a suicide three what no it wasn't also there's been more than three there's just been that three that are very notable and recorded 
A lot of people have also been injured severely with these things. Not to mention, these things can get stolen off the set a lot. 47 fatalities on movie sets. Three of them were from firearms. No one know, want to know what the vast majority of them were from? Falling from elevated places. So does that mean that you're going to also start doing all of your movies on the ground? Um, last check, um, you can't point an elevated place at somebody and accidentally kill them with it. It's very weird. This is like saying that cars are more dangerous than guns. Yeah, and we also have rules for those. You can never do anything where you're swinging from a building like I've seen you do in multiple movies. Yeah, by the way, what he's saying right now, most of this doesn't happen anymore for this exact reason. They're actually moving more toward green screens and controlled sets. It's very rare that they dangle you from an actual building anymore. Because people kept getting injured doing it. The reason why you don't see a lot of big car accidents where cars go flipping over the place with people inside is because people kept dying. They changed the fucking um, protocols. Every time an accident happens, things change to make it safer. It's why we're moving away from real stunts. It's because people keep dying from them. Movies? No, you're still gonna do it. No, they're not. They're they're actively getting away from it. Because even withstanding all the movies that have been made and the fatalities that have occurred, only, there's only been 47. As adults, we understand risk. Keep in mind that number comes from from 1990 to today. So no, not all the films ever made. It's literally just from 1990 to today. So, you know, we're averaging about two fatalities a year, plus hundreds, if not thousands of injuries per year. Well, not per year, but since, since 1990. Like, these aren't as safe as people keep thinking. Like, this guy's an idiot. I know this. He, he's made that very clear in his video, that he is not a smart person. He's a idiot that wants one of these guns to be put on the floor so he can just sit on the barrel. Risk. We understand that there are going to be risks to everything. But yet here... And he's going to argue that we should not mitigate those risks whatsoever and when accidents happen because my penis replacer is more important than your life. Of all the movies that have been made, three fatalities from firearm. No, since 1990. Stop spewing wrong facts. That's including the one that just happened with Alec Baldwin. Three. Come on, man. Stop it. See, it's three that he can point to with news coverage. He's not talking about the maimings, um, the near deaths and the other deaths that are not reported in the mainstream news because they're from smaller fucking um, movies. This is silly. You can do what you want. This is silly. Yeah, clearly you're the judge of what is silly and serious here. But let's just acknowledge the fact that this is silly. It's silly, man. Like, there have been people who have died on movie sets by way of motorcycles. Are you going to stop using real motorcycles in your... Yes, they have actively stopped using them as much. They have switched to using remote-controlled ones with dummies on top of them sometimes, too. You see, unlike you, when an accident happens, you stop and reevaluate how that accident happened and then fix the problem. You don't just keep going on and hope that the deaths just kind of stop. For movies? The people who have died because of helicopter, helicopter crashes on movie sets. We're going to stop using helicopters on movie sets? We have. No, you're not. Because um, We have, again. It's why green screens are so prevalent now. They're safer. They're cheaper, they're safer, and they cause less problems. If you use a controlled set, you can make it look like anything. That's kind of the point. That, has, that doesn't have a political slant to it, but firearms do. And as far as I know, you've been trying to gain way into the political side of your career, which is fine. Do what you want. I like how this guy's actively talking to The Rock, by the way. Like, The Rock gives a fuck what some nobody on YouTube has to say about him. Like, he makes more money per day than this guy will ever see in his lifetime. He doesn't care what he has to say. But let's just stop it with the virtue signaling here. Like again, virtue signal, virtue signal, um, virtue signal. Um, this whole channel is just one big virtue signal. It's just from the other side of the spectrum. The reason what, why, what happened happened on that set was because of human error and negligence. Not because the gun got up and decided to do it itself. This I mean, if the real gun wasn't there, would it have been able to be used at all? You know, it's not our fault that guy drowned. The river was just there. You know, he shouldn't have been near the river, okay? We can't get rid of rivers. So let's build a bridge on it or have a lifeguard on duty during shooting, right? And this guy would argue, no, you can't do that. Because you're, you're going to obstruct my right to swim the river. 
by having a lifeguard? Yes. This is nothing more than a virtue signal. That's all it is. And if, and if I'm going to be honest, once again, it is a demonstration on the cultural attack on the Second Amendment. Because um, there's nothing cultural about the Second Amendment. Nothing. Believe you me, if this starts to become a thing where all of a sudden Hollywood's like, oh, we're going to ban all the guns from the movie sets. What do you think is going to happen from there? Um, they also ban guns from um, warehouses, Walmarts, um, construction sites. Um, pretty much anywhere that a work is being conducted. I don't see him crying about those. Very weird. For the longest times, they've been using guns in their movies. Dwayne, Dwayne. Uh, most guns are fake. It is mostly fake guns. Like props, like disabled guns and shit. It's mostly those. They're not using real ones. They're using faked ones. They're either rubber, plastic, wood, or they're like deactivated with um, cement inside of them so they can't be used. That's what they use for the most part. They only use real guns when they need the gun to like go off repeatedly so they use blanks. And even that, like we have safety protocols for those now because what happened, you know, with the first one of these that happened in modern memory, keep in mind a lot of these happened sooner than that. People were being shot a lot when they used guns on set because they used real bullets. Johnson's been using guns in his movies for a long time. You think you think the idea that there was a potential danger in using firearms just dawned on him as a result of what happened? Come on, man. We're not that. Yes. Yes. Unironically, yes. This is what happens in industry. I know he doesn't know because he doesn't work a day in his life, but yes. You don't think this equipment is dangerous because you use it a lot, and you're trained to use it, right? Until somebody dies, and then you go, oh, shit. I'm, I'm driving around in a forklift that weighs more than a fucking pickup truck. Again, he doesn't know because he doesn't actually work. But this is something we've all faced at one point in our industry. That dumb. We know what's going on here. We do. So at the end of the day, we know we know where this where what road this is trying to go down. If you can vilify real guns on a movie set, especially when the, we're talking, he's not vilifying him. He's saying he doesn't want them around because they could cause an accident. Yeah, I don't want fucking acid anywhere near my loading dock because if it spills, it'll kill somebody. Does that mean I'm virtue signaling against the use of acid, or is it I want my people to be safe when they're unloading and loading a truck? Which is it? We unload firecrackers. We unload, unload gasoline. We unload raw gunpowder. We don't allow smoking on the dock. Does that mean I'm virtue signaling against cigarettes? Or does that mean I don't want them to set something off and blow us all up? Talking about guns that don't even fire real bullets? If you can vilify... And uh, they do fire real bullets. I thought you were a gun guy. There? Please believe that the vilification of firearms in the real world are going to be turned up times 11. By and large, the one thing that has stopped Hollywood from just going completely batshit against firearms is the fact that they use them so often and readily in their movies. But if they start to engage in this banning of firearms on their movie sets as a massive virtue signal, because- He's really triggered about this. Because of Alec Baldwin and- his set what do you think is gonna happen this is not my computer by the way this is his video like it is just broken for some reason in the real world now you think that you think hollywood's bad now about backing anti-2a political figures you think hollywood is bad now about blackballing people who are pro 2a in hollywood oh just you wait and see what happens if they start going down this road of banning is he unironically gonna say next they're gonna put a white uh fucking a, a yellow star on my shirt because i'm pro 2a is that going to be the next words out of his fucking mouth? Guns from productions and movie sets. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. We used to carry a lot of um, fertilizer, right, in warehouses. Happened all the time. We, we just carried a lot of it, right? Well, what kept happening was warehouses would just explode. We didn't know why. They just exploded, right? Oh, something must have happened. What happened? Was it gas? Was it a, was it a vehicle inside of it? No. It was fertilizer. It would build up. A spark would set it off, and it would explode like a bomb. And so now there are limits on how much you can have in a certain area of a certain warehouse because it could it potentially explode. Same with any kind of harmful chemical, um, corrosives, um, irritants, expl well, anything that's flammable, really. 
and anything that's radioactive, and anything that can um, deforest an area, like it, it defoliates the whole area, right? There are chemicals that do this. There are regs and laws against how you can move these things, who can move these things, who can have these things. And we did this because it was found that when we just, well, it can be done safely. These accidents are only once in a while, so it doesn't matter, right? It, it caused a lot of problems. People were dying. People were maimed. People were horribly disfigured for the rest of their life. Um, entire areas were poisoned, radiated, you know, blown to pieces by fertilizer and explosives. So we learned, as an industry, this is not how we should be doing things. Let us set up regulations and laws so that this doesn't happen anymore. And now, it is fairly rare that this stuff happens. So much so, I can't recall in modern memory the last time something big like this happened in the States. An accident happened in an industry, stop being a bitch about it, and let them fix the problems that they see. If they overreact, they can backtrack. It happens. But if they don't react appropriately, more deaths will happen. Talk about a culture war. They're going to go full steam ahead because now they don't have that supposed contradiction of ideology with respect to using firearms in movies, but then preaching anti- That's not ideology. Anti-gun messages. Like I said, I like The Rock. I do. I like his movies. Some people don't. Some people think they're, they're corny, and I can see that. I personally like him. That being said, I got to... saying that because he doesn't want The Rock to, like, crush his skull like a fucking egg. Um, look at this guy. Like, he's trying to pluff himself out like he's big, but he really weighs, like, 20 pounds, and it's why he's got to carry a gun everywhere he goes because he knows he can't actually do anything himself. I call BS on this. This has nothing to do... I don't think it has anything to do with safety. And he didn't say, he didn't say that. He didn't. I'd be fair and say that. I mean, he did say it had, it was about safety. He did say that. Much He didn't say it had anything to do with safety. He just chose not to do it. But the time... He said it was about safety. Like, he didn't want people to get harmed on his sets. He said that. I mean, it's very peculiar. Right, immediately right after this whole situation with the Alec Baldwin situation, all this... You mean immediately after a major accident happened that somebody died, they wanted to change the safety protocols? Unheard of. But now you, you're going to get rid of all guns on your, real guns on your movie set? Nobody wants to see fake guns on movie sets. Nobody. Your average person can't tell the difference between an AK-47 and an M-16. They don't care. The only people who care are this idiot who pauses videos on his HDTV and then, like, goes over every little detail on a gun to make sure it's the right one he's thinking of while he's jerking off while he's watching. I don't want to see an action scene where you're running around in your six foot nine, 5,000 pound frame with a wobbly gun. You just, come on, like, my, my ability to suspend disbelief kind of stops there. Nobody... I mean, I would say you have no connection to reality at this point. ...wants to see that. It's like having... It's like wearing condoms on a porn set. Just nobody... Wait, yeah, they do that. What? They they do that. What are you talking about? Yes, they, they have safety... Pr what? ...wants to see that. But, hey. What? You got it, bro. Do you, boo-boo. Guns aren't... What? Oh my god, he's really stupid. ...political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube. No, but you make them political with your nonsense. I mean, look at this shirt, look at this hat, look at your background here. 